Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know why, Sharem. Sing 2 is being released today on uh, 4K and Blu ray today, along with from Universal, Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez and um, uh, Owen Wilson right here. Uh, this is another one that's uh, coming out in the stores. I believe Drop Dead Fred. Uh, is being released again uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. I don't think that that one's going to be in stores. I have that. I believe I have the Canadian release of uh, Drop Dead Fred. So uh, I may get on the Vinegar Syndrome one sooner or later. Whenever I figure out what's going on in life uh, over here, there's a home, there's a handful of other titles being released today. Some catalog stuff like Ordinary People, the Best Picture winner uh, from what 1980 with uh, uh, Donald Sutherland and Mary Tyler Moore and stuff like that are being released today. Uh, that one's coming out from Paramount. Uh, I'm going to be hitting up a couple of different spots today. Some thrift stores, of course, some of the usual spots. So come along with me. Let's see what we can come up on today. And don't forget, next week, Scream 5 is being released in stores everywhere. But guys, hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoy my videos. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get up to 400 thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up, baby. It's time to head on in to Hope of the Valley Thrift Store. Haven't been in here in just a little while. Let's see if they had anything new or cool added to the shelves today. Coming up on the movies right now. They do have a little section over here of like books and CDs and stuff, which I never really like look through. I usually just do the physical media stuff. And it looks like they added a whole bunch uh, to the backside uh, of this shelf right here. Because usually, you know, VHS tapes are a dollar. DVD is $1.99. They change it on a weekly basis sometimes. $3.99 for Blu-rays. And they have this little section over here. So uh, we'll, we'll, I will dig through this and see if we come across anything kind of cool. You see what I'm saying? $2.99, that's a DVD. And DVDs are supposed to be $1.99. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, oh, and that's otherwise. But yeah, I'm just gonna look through here, see if I find anything. We got the Ernest collection here. Ernest Goes to Africa, Ernest uh, Greatest Hits, Ernest and the Army, Brother or uh, Band of Brothers. They got going on in here. It looks like they added a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm going to have to uh, shut this off until I find something cool. Well, guys, I came up on two things right here. Sun Chaser and this. This box set right here. Chicago Bears 1985 DVD box set. Check out the sold listings on eBay right now flashing up on the screen. They're selling this for $6.99. It's used, the disc looks like it's in good condition. The box is kind of beat up a little. This is a must, this is a must. But they also have like random seasons of uh, Degrassi, the next generation um, over here. You don't normally come across, you know, seasons of Degrassi. I think they're like, what, $4.99 a piece and shit. But um, yeah, if they're not scratched up, they, it, it, may be, it may be a purchase right here. But they also have like some, like old school, old school ass, like VHS big boxes right here, the formula. Like this is one of those old school ones that you would go like this and open them up like that. This is like back before I was born. You know, kind of tapes to have that one and the champion or the champ right here with John Voight. Old MGM, you know, like big big boxes. What is this one? Oh, Cabaret. That That's kind of cool. You don't normally see those that often anymore these days. Let's head on over to Walmart. See what they got going on today. Well, it looks like Sing 2 has its own little uh, display out here at Walmart today. DVDs, 1996. Uh, the you know Walmart exclusive pack is 19 or 29.96, and it comes with like a like a microphone, a blow up guitar, uh, you know, two mini movies and things like that, and this little big old like box thing. You know, Walmart always comes through with the kids' movies for uh, you know their their exclusives and stuff. But uh, yeah, the the Blu-ray combo pack is $24.96. Might as well get that one if you could come to Walmart, I guess. But uh, let's see what the new release rack has uh, in store for us today. Looks like some of the same stuff. The limited edition gift set for Sing 2 that we just saw. It's like lighting up the world up here on the, on the top shelf. Uh, they even have the 4K uh, going on up there today. I haven't, uh, have not, not seen that. I don't think I've even seen the first one. I'm not going to lie. If I did, I don't remember it at all. That, well, it looks like they only have DVD versions of uh, Marry Me uh, right here as a, on, the, on the new release rack. Along with a two-pack of Sing and Sing 2 on Blu-ray and DVD. That's, that's cool. 
uh, over here. But yeah, only DVD of uh, Marry Me. Huh. I mean, I know the movie's not amazing, but it's not horrible. We got Pursuit here. We got Dragon Knight that came out uh, going on. It was John, the new John Cusack, Emile Hirsch film. Uh, is one of the ones that came out today. Anything else that's standing out to me at Walmart that I'm noticing? Not really. I know this one's been out for a little while. That, that Sonic, uh, the Hedgehog Collector's Edition, has been out there for a while. My buddy OGP finally saw this movie last night, uh, Antlers. He said it was, eh. I still, I bought the Blu-ray a couple weeks back. I uh, still haven't opened it or watched it yet, but o OGP said it was just whatever. And what is this? Wait a minute, Young Rock? Was that released today? This must be today. Uh, this is the show that I believe, um, was, is, it, is it on season two right now? Is this Universal? Yeah, we got Rocky, Rock, Rocky Johnson, or the guy's playing Rocky Johnson on the back. Young Rock, huh. That, 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 that looks interesting. I don't, I don't think I've seen an episode of that. Let me know in the comments down below, what, what streaming service is it on? Let me know down below. But um, still just perusing a little bit, seeing if there's anything new or different and on the shelves of Walmart. U UFO. Uh, this one looks a little new that I've not seen before uh, on, the, on the shelves. And that's all I'm really noticing. They still have only one copy left to Dream a Little Dream uh, on Blu-ray over here. I guess people over here in Palmdale have been buying it up. Just getting out of Walmart right now. Didn't get anything up in there uh, today. I will be hitting up some thrift stores uh, in this video, seeing if I can find some good stuff to come up on. But uh, I know people are going to be messaging me in the comments today saying, Hey, Brendan, what are your thoughts on Chris Rock getting slapped by uh, Will Smith? Is it real or fake? I don't even know if I really care. Yeah, it's making its rounds on social media and stuff, but I have my own problems. Coming up on the All-American Pond and Bail Bond store, there's sometimes I find some uh, decent deals in here when it comes to Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff. They have a nice little section, so let's find out if you find anything today. There's only so many clips I'm going to be able to get in here, but as you can see, they have like a big, you know, like rack of like DVDs and there's real select Blu-rays uh, in this store. Uh, you know, there's like boxes and bins I can go through and see what they got, uh, you know, going on uh, in here. Inside DVD, one random Blu-ray, <laughs> one I do not need. But, you know, like they have like a box down here, like, you know, big little, like, you know, big shelves and a couple of spinners with some Blu-rays on it that have been sitting there, you know, for a while. But if I find anything, I'll uh, definitely show you. But I'm going to start digging. Well, I'm digging through this box over here. The only thing I really found in here is uh, Trapped in Paradise. Uh, brand new. But you have to like get a certain amount of things in here to get a, a good deal. And that's the only thing I'm coming up on in here today. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be grabbing. Because this is the only thing that's really standing out to me to, to maybe even get. But we shall see. We shall see. Because there's like a big mixture of um, things in here. Like, you know national born uh you know national born killers and but uh you know it's just a you know like a real mixture of stuff in here not a lot of blu-rays the pretty much only that one medea one is the one that i saw today but yeah nothing not nothing too crazy you know uh dead man with johnny depp this one was kind of cool from back in the day but um yeah not really coming across anything i need to jump up on Oh, wait a minute. Spent like 15, 20 minutes in there. Came up on two titles. One's brand new, one's not. Uh, both sell for, I guess, decent prices. They're both $3 a piece. Uh, one of them has like writing all over it. I sold one of these ones before brand new for like $70. But this one's used. Decent condition except for like the person who wrote their name all over the fucking disc and the, the case. It's kind of jacked up, but man, we'll see what happens. Time for the beast, baby. Let's head on in. Over here at the new release rack right now uh, at Best Buy, seeing what they got going on. And the only thing I'm noticing is Sing 2, uh, the Blu-ray and the 4K edition of it. I don't see anything else that's like, you know, new releases today, like, you know, Marry Me or anything like that. You know, on the, sh on the new release rack today, I may have to check the section itself uh, over here. Looks like they do have one copy left of... Um, West Side Story, the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook. Uh, this sitting here. I got mine the, the week it came out, but I'm not noticing anything 
anything new over here today guys except for like I said sing 2 and there's also gonna be for you guys that don't know um, a 4k release of this uh, coming out soon different cover art and stuff I don't understand why Warner Brothers didn't release this on blu-ray and 4k at the same time you, if you guys you guys hear that news about about this like I don't know understand why they wouldn't why they waited if you know what I'm saying getting out of Best Buy right now let's head on home to do some unboxings I got two packages sent to my PO box and I also got one thing sent from a studio and I'll show you guys what I picked up at a uh, Hope of the Valley thrift store all right, I'm back home right now. I'm about to show you guys what I hoarded up on today. Uh, picked up a couple of things, and I do have some unboxings to do that I got sent uh, in the mail. I'm gonna do upstairs right after this. I did pick up a Trapped in Paradise uh, DVD, factory sealed, uh, right here. I can probably get like twenty dollars for this or so around there on my eBay store. Also got Night of the Twisters uh, on DVD. I sold this one before, brand new, for like $60, $70 before. But this is used, and like someone wrote their name like, like on the cover. Like not on the plastic, but like on the actual artwork. And wrote their name on the actual disc and stuff. So that's going to decrease the value a little bit. But this is a, a decent seller uh, on eBay if you guys ever see it. Um, I also picked up these items. $6.99, the Chronicles. This is uh, put out by a Acorn Media, uh, $6.99. It sells for about over just over $30 on eBay. I uh, picked up uh, Skin Chasers, or no, Sun Chaser, uh, right here with Woody Harrelson. Uh, it looks like it sells decently on eBay. Uh, I found this one at the local pawn shop. These ones at the local pawn shop, they're a buck a piece. I got two copies of 100 Streets uh, with, with a slipcover and two copies of uh, Love and Strangers. Uh, right here. This was at the pawn shop that's right next to um, uh, the Hope of the Valley thrift store. These were like 99 cents each. I don't know. I was just like, I can't pass them up. I, if I can make a little bit of profit on it, I'll do it. But this is the find of the day. This is the find of the day. This was $6.99. Boom. This is the Chicago Bears 1985 12 Classic Games uh, DVD box set right here. The, doc, the box has seen better days, but the DVDs are in great shape. And, uh, I can get about around 200 bucks for this, if not a little bit more, uh, for this box. If it was brand new factory sealed, it's over $300 uh, that it's selling for on eBay. But um, but I got picked this one up, and I was like, oh, I don't really know shit. I don't really know a lot about sports, obviously. But when I scanned it, the barcode on the eBay app, I'm like, oh, I gotta get up on this. But uh, as you're watching this video, a lot of this stuff is already posted on my eBay store. So if any of you guys are interested, link to my eBay store is down below. But right now, let's head upstairs for some unboxings. Uh, back upstairs now, I have uh, three packages to open uh, right here. The first two came to my P.O. box, which is uh, you know a place where anybody that watches my videos would like to send me anything to open up on video, you can. My address is down below. If you guys ever want to send like letters or, you know, someone sent me a sex toy before. But this one's coming from, I'm not sure there's no return address on here. It just says, you know, my address uh, on here, you know, the P.O. box address. So let's open this up and see what we got. It looks like we have a letter. Keep your head up. Thanks for all the great videos. I hope your next chapter with your with you and your family is even better. Uh, Instagram user Tattooed Warrior 4372. Uh, Tattooed Warrior uh, 4372 on Instagram is the one that sent this uh, package right here. We got WrestleMania. This is the one where um, The Rock faces John Cena. And uh, it was a, right, oh Triple H versus The Undertaker uh, on Blu-ray. Not 100% sure if I have this one or not. I may, but I, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure because I have some have so much shit to be honest with you. But it's always cool to get some good WWE in your life, uh, especially on Blu-ray. It's kind of hard to come by these days. And they sent me a copy of Frogs uh, right here. This is the old MGM uh, DVD right here of Frogs. Yeah, 19. The movie came out in 1972. Cool little flick, cool little flick. Thank you so much, uh, Tattooed Warrior forty three seventy two on Instagram. I really do appreciate you. But this other one right here came came as well, and this is coming from Jeremy uh, from Illinois. I think it says uh, I L Illinois. Maybe let's see what Jeremy sent my way. Oh, I gotta be careful. Looks like there's a note in here. This was also sent to my PO box. It says, hello, I'm a longtime viewer of your YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy the gifts. Thanks for making great videos. Keep up the great work, Jeremy. Uh, as the letter says right here, thank you, Jeremy. Let's see what the first first thing is. 
Too hot for TV, Fox Sports. You gotta see this. It says, too hot for TV. This is like kind of like that cops thing. You know, like how cops came out too hot for TV and all that stuff from back in the day. I don't think I've ever seen this one out in the wild before in the stores or anything like that. At least I don't think I have. Too hot for TV. I don't even know when this came out. 2002, this DVD says it was released. That That's different. That, that's a different thing. What is this? Oh. Is this from like that company Stinky Tuna or something? That um, we got a real genius on Blu-ray. This is a Val Kilmer movie uh, put out by TriStar. Uh, this is not factory sealed, but it is wrapped. I think it might be like one of those um, like official bootlegs. You know what I mean? Like the the ones that you see from those companies that put out like li great looking quality uh, ones. Yeah, it has like the, a soundtrack. And it has the Blu-ray. But yeah, this, this one, I always remember liking Real Genius uh, with uh, Val Kilmer. But to get it on Blu-ray, that is cool, man. That is cool. I'm definitely going to have to check out the, the picture quality and stuff on this when I, when, I, when I have a chance to pop it in. Is there anything else in here? Because it's like, it's like some cardboard in here. Put that down. 8x10 autos, it says. Someone, did that, did Jeremy sent me an autograph? Dude, this is the dude that played Lurch. I can't, I can't, I forgot his name. That played Lurch in, uh, I believe, the Adams Family uh, movie. Or is it the movie or a TV show? Oh, there's a couple of, a couple of autograph things in here. This is coming from Jeremy, because a lot of people that watch my videos know I'm, in, I'm into collecting autographs and stuff. We also got a uh, Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. I don't, none, none of these look like they're like authenticated or anything. But you just never know unless you get it, you know, send them into like JSA or Beckett or anything. Because I'm kind of like, you know, I, I would probably do that. But we got a Stallone autograph right here. And an E.G. Daly who plays, you know, Tommy Pickles in um, Rugrats. That's super cool. But dude, if this is legit, you know, if I send it into like JSA or Beckett or something like that and they authenticate it, that would be rad as hell. Because I know... Like his 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 uh, he had a private signing recently, and, and just to get him to sign an eight by ten was like eight hundred dollars. And I don't think this you know I, I don't know I don't know I don't see why a person would send that to me like that. But um, that is cool if, if it if this is a, a legit uh you know Stallone signature that is super cool. Even the picture is kind of rad too. But uh, thank you so much, Jeremy, for sending on over these cool movies and these autographs right there. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but now we have the last box. Uh, right here. This one's coming from one of the companies that you know sends me DVDs and Blu-rays and things. Uh, so let's see what it is. I don't. I can't remember what company it's from. But when we open it up, we shall see and know from what the title is. Right there. Oh, okay. Jock. It's a movie called Jockey. Uh, this one has one one of my favorite actors in it from when I was a teenager. He was this, this actor that stars in this movie was in a movie called The Stoned Age. Uh, from back in the day, and also uh, Ray Bradbury's The Wonderful Ice Cream Suit, which is, which is a movie no one talks about. I, I kind of understand why, but I still like it. But this is a movie starring Clifton Gonzalez uh, Jr. You also know you also went used to go by Clifton Gonzalez Gonzalez uh, back in the day. This is a movie called Jockey about like horse racing. I haven't seen him like you know in, in a movie in a while, and I I always dug his work, so I'm definitely going to be giving this a, a chance, and you know popping in and putting it in a, a you know DVD Blu-ray update video in the future whenever I get you know our housing situation figured out because uh, right as of right now I don't know what's going on uh, my family I think signed paperwork so I think the this place is sold but right now we don't even know where we're going yet so it's kind of like oh shit but um yeah my mom told me something about we have a contingent contingency plan when it comes to this house so I don't even understand what the hell is really happening because I'm kind of, you know, kind of slow on the upkeep, upkeep, if you know what I'm saying. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed uh, this uh, hoarding up adventure today. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, please check out my eBay store. Link is down below uh, in the description box. Um, I really do appreciate you guys' support. Uh, thank you guys for coming by, and I'll catch you on the next one.